And it leads over to this, the, the other kind of point of like what the smell is like. And it always, or while I was reading it, kind of felt reminded a little bit of, uh, I had to teach at one of our, at our aviation campus one semester. And every time I walked into the classroom, I just got hit with the smell of kerosene. Mm -hmm. I made a comment to the students and they were like, I don't smell it. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it kind of, because I, you have this in the book as well that the prisoners start to get used to things. And in part, how do you discover that they're getting used to it? And also, do you, do you think they're just not smelling it anymore? Or are they getting used to it in kind of, well, this is just how it is? Or just are they just not talking about it anymore? That's a, that's a really difficult question, right? How do, how, how do you, how do you make how do you, how do, how do you make a case for the negative, right? How do you make the right. case for the absence of, of smell in, in a diary? Um, there are a few cases where they, where prisoners will talk about becoming used to mm -hmm. uh, 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 smell. They'll, they call this uh, deodorization, or um, and, 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 or be, their nose becoming deodorized. Uh, and and there's a disagreement about whether this is a good thing or a bad thing, mm -hmm. because prisoners are aware that what was costing their noses when they first arrived is still there. Um, but it, it, there's, is it, you know, is, is, is it a, is it merciful? Is it, uh, or are they, are they kind of being led blindly through, a, you know, a foul, poisonous environment now without the, um, the, the, the use of the body's best sensible to mm -hmm. disease in the 19th century? Um, sort of like your smell detector has gone offline. Yeah. Well, and, and there and, and people like Florence Nightingale were actually arguing that they needed to develop mechanical noses because they said that this will happen if oh. you are in a in, a, in a, a sickly space for too long, your nose will no longer be registering that there's danger. So you need like a you know it's like a, a, a carbon monoxide detector for for particles that that are you know they're connected to smell and oh. they're they're they're. they're Really trying to think through this in a you know in a, in a kind of a scientific you know they're using statistics to map where the smells are in the cities before the Civil War and all these right. they're they're very serious about um, about fighting um, fighting foul smells and all this comes with them into prison camps. Mm -hmm. But to get back to your question about how you know how do I how do I know this mm -hmm. right the there are a few prisoners that are are so good about identifying foul smells early on. I think of William. Uh, Duncan Wilkins, for example, who, who also is at Libby Prison. The, 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 the prisons that seem to accost the noses most severely are those enclosed spaces, places mm -hmm. like Libby Prison, yeah. uh, or, uh, fortifications along uh, the, the eastern eastern coast. And you know, Wilkins at, at Libby, you know, it, it's you know, it, it's intolerable. I think he, he, is, he is convinced the smell of the place is going to make him sick and it's going to kill him. Um, it's it's almost constant in his early writings, and then slowly becomes. He talks talks about the air more, and then a bit maybe about the you know the, you know, the metaphors about the uh, you know the, the foul environments. But those those very descriptive, specific, you know, fearful mm -hmm. descriptions are no longer there mm -hmm. after a couple of weeks. Uh, and then, although his first thing he writes when he gets out of prison is. Fresh air tastes delicious, right? So the he's aware of it as soon as he uh, as he gets out of prison once again. Um, but you know, is it is it just that he's becoming used to it that he doesn't want to uh, to be writing the same thing over and over? Is it that his nose is becoming you know desensitized to it? It might be a combination of both. Sure. Um, but you know, it's, it's examples like Wilkins that kind of gives me the confidence to mm -hmm. to think about well, when I'm seeing bits and pieces of. Right of this story elsewhere that's all part of the same process. Sure.